Hello, welcome to one more English with Patrice. How are you doing today? I hope you're fine. I hope your family is doing pretty well. So please, let's try creating positive vibes, right? Because if you and I together create a positive vibe, we can make it better, of course. So please remember, if you need to study English, if you need to talk, if you want to discuss about anything in life, Talk to me, right? It will be very happy. It will be a pleasure for me. So email me. My email is here in the description of the video. And I hope you enjoy this content. So today we are going to talk about routines and then transforming the routine into the simple past. You may remember in the last video we were discussing about the auxiliary verbs do, does, did. I did not have time to talk about the three ones, but I mentioned about do and does using. And today I'll put some phrases in here, right? You can check uh, here, yes. You can check in here the phrases, right, about routine. Only examples that I thought. It's not a grammatical class, not very much. It is more focused on vocabulary. So I really, I really wish you to feel comfortable and focused, right? Completely focused to produce, to perform well in English and to speak, right? Remember, speaking is very important. Vocabulary is important. Speaking is very important. We need to speak every single day. Listen to English is very important too. So please, let's study hard. So, let's talk about your routine. Ok, in the simple present, no presente simples, que é o que chamamos de rotinas, digamos assim, nós verificaremos algumas frases e logo após farei a conversão destas para o passado simples, ok? So, let's talk about basic things, only two exercises. Huh? So, for example, I wake up at 6 a.m. And you? What time do you wake up? I wake up at 6 a.m. And you? What time do you wake up? So, my wife wakes up at 7. She wakes up at 7. And what about her mother? What time does her mother wake up? I don't know. What time does her mother wake up? That's a good question, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, and I start working, okay, I start, okay, I start my work at 8 a.m. Yes, I start my work at 8 a.m. And you, what time do you start to work? What time do you start to work? I normally have lunch, I have lunch, hmm, midday dirty, when dirty, it depends on the day, you know. Let's say that in my routine, I had lunch at midday 30. And you, what time do you have lunch? Please answer me on the comments of the video or send me an email with all the questions answered. Let's have an interaction. It's going to be fantastic for me and a very good English opportunity for you. Let's have more interaction. Let's do it. So what time do you have lunch? I study English every week. I study English every week. My students, they, my students study English every week. Sometimes I study French. Yes, I study French twice a week. And you? Do you study any language? Do you study English or French? Do you study Portuguese? That's very important, eh? It's important to study your own, your native language. So, I watch TV at nights. Every day, I watch a little of television at night. Sometimes I watch the news. Sometimes I watch some soap operas. Why not? Sometimes I watch a series or a movie. Hmm, I like it. It's a good time to relax. But... What I really like doing, my favorite activity of my routine, I have two favorite activities in my routine. I read books and texts 
every week. I read books every week, or I simply read something. I read something every day. And you? Do you like reading? Do you like reading books? Do you like reading magazines or blogs? Tell me, tell me, please. What do you like reading? I'm curious now. What do you like reading? Please comment here below or send me an email with your answers and some books recommendations. Huh? And my second favorite activity is I really like very much. Okay, I practice sports every week. Normally, I practice sports three times a week. Yeah, the masters and the work, a lot of things to do, but three three times a week, I think it's a good time, right? And you, do you practice any sport? Do you like practicing sports? That's a very important question because, you know, people in quarantine, you know, it is pretty crucial to keep your health condition high. So if you don't like practicing sports, please practice only a little bit. It's going to be fantastic for you. Okay? Now, let's see these phrases. As you could see, we use the routines in affirmative and also in interrogative form. Let's see those examples in the past. For example, I woke up at 6 a.m. yesterday. Repeat. I woke up at 6 a.m. yesterday. Very good. Every time we talk about time, we need to put a preposition at. Okay? So, I woke up at 6 a.m. yesterday. My wife woke up at 7 a.m. yesterday, or she woke up at 7 a.m. today in the morning. Now is at night in here. So, she woke up today at 7 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I worked yesterday at 8. Today I started my work. I started my work at 8 a.m. And you, what time did you start? Your work. Pay attention, as I said on the last video, como eu disse no último vídeo, frases com verbos auxiliares, a única alteração é o próprio verbo auxiliar, ok? So, tell me, what time did you start to work today? And what time did you and your family start to work yesterday? Eh? So, I had my lunch today. Uh, it was midday 30, yes. Today I had my lunch. I had lunch at midday 30. And you? Did you have lunch today? Did you have dinner today? And what about yesterday? What time did you have lunch yesterday? What time did you have dinner yesterday night? And after that, let's say, I watched television in the afternoon. Today, I watched a movie. Me and my wife, we watched a movie. And you? Did you watch any movie or series today or yesterday? So, if yes, please tell me. What movie did you watch today or yesterday? Please comment below the name of the movie or the series. The synopsis, maybe. Send me one email with movies recommendations or series recommendations. If you want, please check the movies and series English synopsis. It is a fantastic vocabulary. So, with these examples, I think, I think, you watch, with these examples, you can practice it. Please send me your routine. What's your routine? Huh? Tell me, let me know. What's your routine? Let's talk about it. Thank you very much. Please remember to click below and thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel and share. Share this video with your friends and family and everybody who is studying English or would like to study or would like to remember English. I don't know. People need motivation. Help me to motivate people. Help me to give more attention to education. Okay? Thank you very much and bye-bye.
See you.